One of your most powerful tools and your single most informative resource is PubMed.gov. And again, this was uh, talked about by, uh, by Dondi uh, Nettles extensively, how he uses this tool. And I would really like for all of you to get familiar with this. There are 10 characters to type in, PubMed.gov, all right? You type that in your browser, and what comes up is a screen that looks like this. It's just like a Google search. The difference is, this is not searching everything that anybody and his neighbor has posted on the internet. This is searching the peer-reviewed published biomedical literature, not just from this nation, but from the entire planet. Every journal that meets the qualifications that conducts peer-reviewed publication of biomedical research is included in this database that's run by the National Library of Medicine of the United States of America. PubMed.gov is your tax dollars at work, and it's probably one of the most efficient and useful uses of your tax dollars. <laughs> there, there are many, but this is up there. And it's an outstanding contribution of this country to the well-being of the entire planet, right? It works just like Google. So if you go bring up PubMed and you type in, in the, in the search field, something like ProTandem, and you hit Enter, what you see is all of the publications specifically discussing ProTandem in the published peer-reviewed biomedical literature. And you might expect there would be hundreds, because you may not have a feel for how this thing works. Six is a very substantial number for where we are and how long we've been at this. Let me tell you, if you had done this search one year ago, there were three. All right? So in the last year, this has doubled. There's a seventh waiting in the wings, and I hope soon you'll see a seventh paper there. These are independently funded uh, for the most part. The first couple were funded by the company, and everything after that has been independent. Public, uh, funded by private agencies such as Parent Project Muscular Dystrophy, such as uh, the American Heart Association, and from federal funding, such as the National Institutes of Health. If you click on any one of those publications, what you see is the entire abstract, right? And if you see the icon in the upper right uh, of, of this uh, screen, it says free, um, full text PDF file, a, form, a reprint format of this paper. Again, that icon always appears if the research was funded at least in part by federal money. That is, your tax dollars also supported in some part this study on the effect of ProTandem on Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Because your tax dollars paid for it, you're entitled to download the full text research in a, in a PDF file. And all six of the papers shown here have those uh, downloadable PDF files available. If you go back to the initial screen and you type in, let's say, oxidative stress, you would find 81,000 hits. All right, that's a lot of research on oxidative stress. ProTandem is aimed at reducing oxidative stress, but you can search more focused on the term protandem, or more broadly, on the term oxidative stress. If you type in oxidative stress and any medical condition that you comes to your mind, you'll get, again, a number of hits. If you turn, in this case, oxidative stress and dialysis, which is a procedure that people undergo when they're in kidney failure, you find uh, an amazing 1,113 publications on oxidative stress and dialysis. You can focus even more tightly, if you want to, by searching 
a topic with NERF2. Again, ProTandem, and I'll, for newcomers in the audience, I'll explain what NERF2 is and what ProTandem does to it in just a moment. But here, if you do a search of cancer and NERF2, that is, what do NERF2 activating agents do to cancer in various studies? 475 papers already, and this is rapidly expanding. 